Okay guys, I got the Yo-Yo Factory Replay Pro here. I've got a lot of requests to review this Yo-Yo. I really like this Yo-Yo right off the bat. It's, it's a great, great Yo-Yo, especially for $15. It's all plastic. Um, as far as all plastic Yo-Yos go, it's probably about as good as it gets, especially for the price range. It's not the perfect Yo-Yo, no, but I do really like it. It's, it feels a lot like an Element X, which is an old yo-yo made by Buzzon. The shape's pretty similar. This one's like 70 grams, like 69 and a half grams or something. This one's pretty close to that. This one's a little bigger in both diameter and its width. I think this is like 58 in diameter and 44 width, give or take. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice yo-yo. Nice rounded, very rim weighted. But yeah, it basically feels like an Element X if an Element X was better. Uh, very, very nice center track bearing, regular yo-yo factory response. Now the one thing I don't really like about this yo-yo is that it's got these little arrows that you're supposed to line up. I don't, the reason I don't like them is because I don't like it telling me what to do, basically, because I think it plays exactly the same if it's there, or there, wherever. Everywhere it's got a tiny, tiny, slight vibration, I mean not like a wobble or anything, but all plastic yo-yos are going to have a slight vibration. Now the arrow thing is a lot better than it is like on my Yo-Yo Factor grind machine where it's not even possible for me to line these up without breaking the Yo-Yo. Like that's as far as I can using all my force and if I go around it's not even screwed together anymore. So the arrow system on this one doesn't even work at all. Where this one it actually you know it works. Like when I got it out of the box that's where they were and you know it's plenty snug there. I can go a little past it but I really don't see any difference at all, no matter where it is. These side caps are not removable, so if you're somebody that likes to tune, take the nut out and turn it, tune it, you can't do that on this yo-yo. Um, I believe you will break the actual housing to the nut if you try to take the side caps off, but I think they look cool as they are, it plays good, so, you know, why, why remove it? But yeah, like saying before, it plays really good. You know, it's really easy to whip and stuff because it's, you know, oh shit, because it's really big. You know, so I can do all my whip tricks pretty good. Uh, it sleeps very long because it's, you know, pretty big and heavy. It grinds good for being a plastic yo-yo. It still grinds real good, you know. Long time, so. But yeah, overall, I really like this yo-yo. Um, I'm doing a review of it, but I think I'm actually going to give it to my girlfriend because she liked the colors, so. But there it is, guys. Thanks for watching.